Zena, you're getting a great girl. I think you know that. We hope you'll love her as Christ loves the church. And I think a great word in that regard is uh, Galatians 2.20. Paul talks about how we need to die to self daily. So Zena and I moved to Nashville, dropped everything for this girl. When you find somebody that makes you more, that's when you know you found somebody worth keeping around. But thank you for seeing the man that God has made him and is calling him to be, and you become the echo chamber of who God is calling him to be. Your voice, your encouragement, your spirit deepens his faith to lead you and to serve you. And the beginning of this relationship, like my father said, is just right now, good one. I can't wait till it's great. As you continue to place the Lord first and you love one another, that's just gonna be an aroma to other people that are gonna come and say, what's different? And you two together, it just fills my heart with joy. And the best is yet to come. Thank you for the light in your eyes. It is the light of what he has done in your heart. Thank you for the way you love and cherish, not only each other, but many. We celebrate even in this short time of who you are and look forward to who you're becoming. Bless you. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 25 says, Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. To best illustrate marriage, God gives us a perfect picture in his word. Jesus we love you and we bless you and we thank you for your presence in this room today. Zenon and Margaret could have gotten married anywhere, but they chose your house. They chose your sanctuary. They chose the place where your presence dwells. sacred moment that will become a memory. That memory will be defined by beauty, and it's a moment that you will indeed remember for the rest of your lives. Not only will you remember this moment and will you remind one another of this moment, but also heaven will remind you too of this moment in your future. Give your life for her as he gave his life for you. Holy love stops at nothing less. And Margaret, I want to say to you, my sister, give your life for him as Jesus gave his life. Holy love stops at nothing. Eternity with Jesus is where we are all one day going together. So if the two of you will commit to one another today and to living with this eternal perspective, I can promise you, if you stay steadfast and focused on the most important thing, I can promise you, Jesus and only Jesus, that everything that you do in the covenant of your marriage will surely bring all glory and all honor to the only one that truly matters, Jesus. May the God of hope fill you with joy and peace as you trust in him so that you will overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. And may God, out of his glorious riches, strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Jesus can dwell in your hearts through faith. And you, being rooted and established in love, may have power, together with all the saints, to grasp how wide, long, high, and deep is the love of God, and to know that love that surpasses knowledge so that you can be filled to all the measure 
of the fullness of Jesus himself. Shalom. B'shem Yeshua HaMashiach, Sar Shalom. In the name of Jesus, the Messiah, the Prince of Peace. I, Zenon Forrest Garcia, take you, Margaret Eugenia Close. I, Margaret Eugenia Close, take you, Zenon Forrest Garcia. To be my wife. To be my husband. I will conduct myself worthy of the gospel of Jesus Christ by considering you as more important than myself. As Christ loved the church and gave his life to sanctify her, so will I give my life for you. As the husband is the head of the wife, I will submit to you as I submit to the Lord. As a continued declaration of my love towards you, I will lay down my life for you. I vow that neither life or death, or things present or things to come, or any power, or any height or depth, or any created thing will ever separate us in Jesus. May all the glory of our marriage go to the Father in heaven, to Jesus Christ, His Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. Seen it, my brother. You may now kiss your bride.